what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the weekend wrap-up right here at the Farm and Pastor's Wife. This is where we start kind of vlogging our weekend and get tidbits of our weekend. So, I am actually on my way to Tractor Supply to pick up some um, grease for Bryant's equipment. So let me just, while we're on our way, I'll give you an update of the weekend because I didn't film any yesterday. Normally I film a little bit on Friday, but yesterday I was if you're bouncing or vibrating and you hear something, I apologize. It's just the way my car is set up. But anyway, um, I was down. I didn't feel anything because I was down and out yesterday with a crick in my neck. I felt fine other than the crick, but when you have a crick in your neck, and, and I get them several times a year, so um, I've actually ordered on Amazon. It's supposed to be here today one of those soft neck collars because the hardest part is just supporting your head and so I was pretty much on the couch all day yesterday but I feel much better today it still hurts a little bit and it's still stiff but nothing like it was yesterday I feel like living today <laughs> so um I'm actually on the way to tractor supply like I said to pick up some grease for the hay equipment we are in the midst of hay season and if you guys have followed me for any length of time, you know, hay season is a crazy time. And every year, something malfunctions. This week, it was the baler. It malfunctioned. I think it's been the baler every year. But, um, anyway, Bryant got it fixed yesterday. Expecting rain a lot this coming week. But he thinks if he can, he's got to finish baling the the fields that he has on the ground now and then if he feels like if he can mow some on Monday he can bail that sorry guys um, <clears throat> he can bail that by the end of the week in midst of any thunderstorms and so forth so we'll see he's not gonna mow a whole lot just because there's chances of rain almost every day um, and it's, it's like your summer thunderstorms, I think. But anyway, so I'm going to get greased because every time before they use the equipment, they grease it up, make sure it's in working order. And so that's what I'm going to get. But later this morning, we're taking the boys. Uh, Bryant's not going to get to go because hay season. Um, Caroline and I, and I don't know if Jamie's going to get to go or not, but I know Caroline and I and the boys, we're going to a strawberry farm, and we're going to get some strawberries. I don't need any strawberry jelly right now, so um, I don't know that I will buy a lot of strawberries. I just want to take the boys. <laughs> My camera keeps moving. Uh, I want to take the boys and let them pick some strawberries and let them enjoy it. So, all right. So, I'm headed to Tractor Supply. I'll see you guys whenever I film next. That one bright. You got a bright red one? Cool yeah. beans. I can't eat it because the top's not on. Is it okay? Levi? Is it okay? I can eat this one. Because... Mommy said no. You got to. See? There's no green on it. Judah, we have to pay for them first. Okay. No, quit. Don't step on them. Oh, guys, look at this one. Look at that one. Show me. Here, Levi. Me I'm taking a picture of it. Show me. Hang on. Wait a minute, son. Look. Smile. Look. 
look at me. When you're married to a farmer and it's hay season, you come ride with him for a date. Hey guys, as you can see, the hay's mounded up. These are the wind rows that the raking does. And the baler, that thing <laughs> is picking it up. And it'll open up and dump out one of those. ring or light will come on and he will stop the door will open and it'll tie off the hay with the hay twine and then it'll push it out the door there it goes and we stop see the little silver thing going around and around that's time the string is tying the bell Here we go, the door will open up, and it kicks the hay bale out, and off we go to pick up more hay. Okay, everybody, so we are home from the strawberry farm. We've actually been home for quite a while. We took the boys by the park, let them play. We went and had lunch. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. So, um, right now... I'm, we're getting ready to eat. We've got some work to do at the church. He's got some things to set up for church. So we're going to run to the church, but I made supper. Let me show you. I am in the process of just cooking out of the freezer and getting rid of stuff because when summer hits, I'll be filling it back up. So I want to clean it out the best I can. So I found a ham in the freezer. So, and we've already been nibbling on it. I opened up a jar of pintos. That wasn't in the freezer, but I opened up a home canned pintos. It's the only way to go, y'all. It is so good. And I had some frozen collard greens, and so we've cooked those. I have two sweet potatoes in the air fryer. We're going to eat those, and then we're going to head to the church. And I may end the night, since it's Mother's Day weekend, and I'm not going to worry about my diet again until Monday. So um, I may end the night tonight with a milkshake. I am craving a double chocolate milkshake from Cookout. That is what I want. <clears throat> so, okay. And to go with our meal, I have some bread and butter pickles um, that I got from the Amish store. I cannot wait. Hopefully... I'll have some cucumbers to make some with. If not, I'm going to go buy some cucumbers and I'm going to make bread and butter pickles. Um, so I have bread and butter pickles to go with our supper and I have a jar of chow chow. Now I have not made chow chow. My mama used to make it and it was delicious. Um, I think this fall, Bryant and I may try our hand at chow chow. So we're going to work on that. And come up with the recipe for chow chow but I'm not gonna worry about that till the fall <clears throat> so okay we're just waiting on the sweet potatoes Bryant's getting a bath he's been in the hay field all day all day long if he wasn't in the hay field he was in the hay barn fixing the hay baler <laughs> next year we will have a new one I guarantee it next year we will have a new baler but until then, we'll be working on a, that one. So, um, he has been, he didn't go with us to the strawberry farm because he was working in hay. So, we're getting ready to eat and then we're going to head to the church and then hopefully for a milkshake. 
Hey everybody, welcome to Couch Time and Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Now you'll actually be seeing our Mother's Day special tomorrow night, um, but we wanted to at least tell you Happy Mother's Day right here at Couch Time. So hope you've had a blessed day. Pray that you've had some peace around the family and uh, enjoyed those who are able to come spend time with you on this special occasion. We're actually a little delayed getting to our couch time today because of our Mother's Day festivities. So. Yep, you'll get that tomorrow. We cooked hibachi steak. Yep, so you hibachi, don't want to miss it. Hibachi chicken, hibachi shrimp, hibachi lobster. And so we had a great lunch Fried today. rice, which yeah. is the bomb.com. Yeah. To me, that's the best thing out there. So that is Caroline's favorite meal. Leslie loves it too. So uh, we did that today for them. So, hey, how did you like, had you ever heard of onion jam before? Oh, my goodness. I hadn't heard of it before. So good. But it's so, I don't know how she does it because I didn't watch her make it, but it's so sweet. And, you know, I do not like onions. But it was really, really good. So, <laughs> so good. So must, very good. Must be all that sugar. Especially on that salmon. Oh, oh that's really good. So. so good. And I made the cozy coffee. Uh, the, the bread pudding. Uh, bread pudding. pudding. Um, the corn salad. The Frito salad. Mm -hmm. Is that not... Yeah. I could eat my weight in that. It is that really, good. Really good. So. And the spicy chicken sandwiches are always a hit. Yeah. So... We just kind of brought you along for what we did for supper this week. And if everything goes well, I'm going to try to make pimento cheese for you guys this week. It's hay yep. season. I'm really busy. Yep. Uh, so I'll see what I can do, but I'm going to try to make it for you this week. Yep. It's been so long since I made it, i got to do a test run to make sure that I know <laughs> quantities to share with you guys. So i got to make it twice. Yeah, <laughs> that's anyway. okay. But hey, did you catch the message today? On Facebook Live. It was really, really good. And so, great uh, Mother's Day special. We actually had one of the farming pastor's wife's um, subscribers yes. drive two hours to church. Well, really, they made a weekend of it. They drove two hours to come visit us to meet and Leslie. And if you'll stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm going to share a, a, picture a picture of us at and, church. They yeah. came and her and her son, Charles, came and, um, um, Worshipped, with, worshipped us. with us, and then they were going to maybe go to the zoo this tonight or this afternoon. So I hope they got to go. It's a neat place to visit. So yep. Today's message was about God's timing. Um, and I dealt with a special Mother's Day message with, uh, in the Old Testament, the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel, a young lady named Hannah. Hannah was barren and was not able to bear children, and it was a difficult situation because uh, uh, her husband... Uh, Alcanon had Alcana had a um, another wife that had several children, and so the other wife taunted her and just provoked her, and so made it was, fun of her. Made fun of her. It was not an easy situation. So today I dealt with God's timing and how things work out in God's timing. I talked about how Hannah was persistent, how Hannah was patient, and then when God blessed her. Hannah kept her promise. Her, she, her promise was that she was going to bring uh, her son back, Samuel, and offer him to the Lord, dedicate him to the Lord, and that's exactly what she did. And so I talked about so many times for God's timing to work out the way it would, it's supposed to. We have to be persistent in our prayer life, persistent in our journey with him, uh, persistently pursuing what those dreams are and those, things, those things that God has given us. And then when we get to that point, we've also got to be patient. We've got to give God time to move, time to work. We, uh, there's a lot of pieces to the pu puzzle that has to come together. And so we've got to be patient for all those things. And when God allows those things to come together, we got to keep our promises. If somehow along the, way, along the way we've said, God, if you do this, I'll do that. And we got to keep those promises because God is a person of his word. He's faithful and just, and we know that, and so we have to be too. And so Hannah did just that. God blessed her, and God used her son Samuel to anoint the future King David of Israel. So a great, great message today about God's timing. So go back and catch yep. it on the rebound. Go rewatch that message. I know your hearts will be blessed. Yep. All right, so we're going to end today here, and then um, just stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll share with you our... Mother's Day lunch, special family time, and then we'll pick right up cooking and day in the life of and so forth on Tuesday. So. Did, you, did you get me fixing the hay baler on here? I don't know. 
Yeah. Don't wait a breakdown, major breakdown this week. We had several fit. breakdowns. So anyway, hey, but we're back in business. Yeah. So don't go anywhere. After we say goodbye, I'm going to share with you the picture of our sweet viewer that drove a state over to visit us today. So um, I'm going to share that with you, and, then, and we'll see you next time. So right. thanks for watching. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all.